Okay, so if I were you and I were trying to kick some calculus booty on this project, here is how I would go about solving the matching problems. And you can use the same strategy to solve the ones where you actually have to draw the slope fields. So the first thing I would do is I would look at equation number one, because it makes sense to start with number one. And I would see that it says dy dx equals negative two. So in order for me to figure out what that graph looks like, I'm going to start by plugging in the point 0, 0. That's always my first point that I like to plug in because both numbers are 0. I also noticed that my equation is negative 2. It doesn't have an x or a y, so there's nothing to actually plug in. So my slope is just going to be negative 2. Now a slope of negative 2 looks something like that. It's a little bit steeper than a slope of negative 1. It's going down because it's negative. And I drew it at 0, 0 because that was the point that I picked to plug in. So now for this graph, it doesn't matter what points I pick. The slope is always going to be negative 2 because there's no x and no y to plug into the graph. So anywhere I go to draw my slope, it's going to be negative 2, which means I'm looking, ooh, that got sloppy, I'm looking for a graph that has all the same lines on it that looks like this. That would be your answer to the first one. Now if I'm going to try and figure out where the second one is, where I have dy dx equals x minus 3, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with 0, 0. I'm going to plug it into my equation of x minus 3. My x value in this situation is 0, so I'm going to have 0 minus 3, which gives me a slope of negative 3. So then I go up to 0, 0 and I draw a slope of negative 3. Yeah, that kind of looks like negative 2, so I'm going to make it a little more steep to give me negative 3. Then I'm just going to move over to my next point, and I'm going to do 1, 0. And I'm going to see what happens when I plug in 1, 0. I'm going to get 1 minus 3, which gives me negative 2. So I'm going to have a slope that's going down, but not quite as negative as the last one. If I keep moving over, if I go to 2, 0, I end up getting 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, which gives me a slope that's even less steep. If I move over to 3, 0, I get a slope of 3 minus 3, ooh, which is 0. It's totally a flat line. Then I notice that because there's no y values in my actual differential equation, that if I were going to expand this slope field, I don't actually have to plug in all of these points. Because if I plug in 0, 1, I'm going to get the same thing that I got when I plugged in 0, 0. Because even though my y value is changing, my x value is the same, which tells me that all of these slopes are going to be the exact same moving up and down because there is no y value so it doesn't matter what my y value is it just matters what my x value is so if I extend that I end up with something that looks like this and then I go and I look to see which one matches that graph.